Akala mo ba? Ma 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 mga ko ba knockout? Ha? Good body shot. Oh, and buckle Chiquita! He's hurt! Chris! Got Chiquita! Oh, he's going down! Anong, anong feeling mo yun? Masaya! Hindi na bago sa mga Pinoy boxer ang magdulot ng upset loss sa mga undefeated na kalaban. Pero ang ating babalikan ay ang pinakamalaking upset win sa kasaysayan ng Pinoy boxer. Ito ay si Rolando Jojo Pasqua na naging kampiyon sa WBC Lightweight Division. Wala man sa mataas na antas ng pamumuhay ngayon ang ating dating kampiyon ay nag-iwan ito ng bakas sa kasaysayan ng larong palakasan. Kung nais nyo pong panuorin ang interview sa buhay ni Rolando Pasqua, ay bisitahin lang po ang link na nasa description sa baba. Of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Light Flyweight Championship of the World. Noong December 19, 1990, ay tinaguri ang the biggest underdog ang ating kababayan na naging mandatory challenger sa isang undefeated Mexican fighter. Sa ngayon ay ito rin ang naging katayuan ni Michael Dasmariñas sa parating niyang laban kontra kay Naoya the Monster Inui ng Japan. Right, sa labang ito si Rolando Pasqua ay kasalukuyang pang-apat sa WBC ranking at may kartada na 24 wins with 8 knockouts at may limang talo. Samantalang ang undefeated Mexican champion na si Humberto Gonzalez ay may kartada na 29 wins at 23 tito ay via knockout. Okay, gentlemen, pelea limpio, buena suerte. Fight clean and good luck. I'll tell you something, they couldn't have picked a better name, the little giant, because this guy can hand up on. Right. Sa unang round pa lang ay pinakita agad ni Gonzales ang pagkaagresibo at ang naising patumbahin ang Pinoy. Pero makamay at matapang si Rolando at hindi natatakot makipagsabayan sa isang knockout artist na Meksikano. That can, can be very de devastating themselves, so... Pasqua's got his job cut out for him, and like I said earlier, he's, he's been known to take one heck of a shot. So, we'll right, see what happens. Right hand got in by Gonzalez. Gonzalez wearing black. Pasqua in white, trimmed with green. Pasqua's not afraid to mix it up, but he prefers to stay on the outside and to use combinations like that to keep Gonzalez off him. Well, he hit, uh, First 14 fights before losing. Kind of a controversial decision. Uh, his first one, uh, losing to the Korean uh, Jumwon Choi, made him fight orthodox in that one. The promoter didn't know he was a lefty, found out, said, hey, you're going to box right-hander or you don't get paid. <laughs> he did, he lost, but now, tonight, his big opportunity, very confident, coming into this fight, been training for three months, he's been a fight since July, preparing for Gonzalez. I'll tell you what, he's had some tremendous yep. shots to the chin of Chiquita, and I've, no I've noticed another thing, Chiquita's winging punches, it's not the same fighter that we saw at last, uh, his last title defense, for Chavez, undefeated 71 fight, so everything, if you notice everything that lands of Chiquita, the crowd will roar. We have predominantly Mexican nationals here, so. Time winding down, I think you'd have to say a very good round for Rolanda Pascal. He's, he's getting in some good shots of his own. More boxing on the Prime Network. After this, stay with us. Mapapansin natin ang katahimikan ng mga manunood. Ito ay dahil dihado si Gonzales sa mga tumatamang suntok. At dahil mataas ang KO percentage ni Gonzales, inaasahan ng lahat na manak out agad ang minamaliit na Pinoy. Big crowd on hand here. Off of him. And Gonzalez starting to land the right. There it is again to the April 27th. 
Then he got a decision over Jimmy Bongott. And good exchange by both fighters. Gonzalez looking to load up, get the one big punch in there. Yes, I think he is. I think he's uh, starting to fill out his, uh, his opponent. But as I said earlier, Fosco's got a, a cast iron chin, so it's not going to be an easy job. Oh, look at that. Fosco getting in him. his punch, getting his punches, getting off very quickly. Ten seconds to go, round two. The WBC light flyweight uh, title. And we'll be back with more after this. Walang pagbabago sa ginagawang pag-atake ni Gonzales. Dala na rin siguro ng matinding pressure ng kanyang mga fans, kaya pilit pa rin nitong sugurin ng sugurin ang Pinoy at umaasang makatama ng malagintong suntok at tapusin ang laban. Pero naging baliktad ang nangyari at dahil sa kapabayaan ay pumapasok ang malalakas na kombinasyon ni Pasqua. At ito nga ang nagpalago sa kumpiyansa ni Rolando na yakang-yakan niya ang Meksikano. Gonzalez uh, trying to work to the body to get the jab out of his face. I see some blood on the face of Chiquita. I don't know if it is from... Uh... Wow. Good exchange. Pasqua got in a solid left and then Gonzalez responding with a right. And action after the bell. Dito sa round 4 ay nagulat ang lahat sa ginawa ng Pinoy. Suntok sa suntok hanggang sa pumutok ang kilay ni Gonzalez. May halong gigil at inis na nga itong pagsuntok ni Gonzales dito sa round 5. Naging magandang pagkakataon naman ito para kay Pasqua para sa pagbuo ng mga kombinasyon at panatilihing lamang sa puntos. Left got in from Gonzalez. Combination. 
Haspa intends to stay on the inside. The strategy oh. not quite uh, thrilled about Ruben. No, he got nailed with a shot, but he came back with two of his own. Uh-oh, look at this. Good punches. Swell. And uh, Pasqua taking every advantage to advance the opening. He's subjecting himself to the left. Make that the right jab of Pasqua. Left hand caught Pasqua coming in. Oh, there's another headbutt right there by Pasqua. Right on the cut. Okay, we'll come back to the forum. Round six coming up. Stay with us. Nakipagpalitan ulit ng suntok ang Pinoy dito sa round 6. Pero sa pagkakataong ito, alyamado na ang ating kababayan. Kind of burrow in there. I think that'd be the only reason. I think it's, like I said, it's crazy because he did a, did a remarkable job on boxing, but he's, whatever works, do it, you know. Of course, stamina in condition in a 12 round fight as Pasqua lands another right and another oh, good combination. Was, that was right on the cut. And Pasqua getting in his punches now. Oh, wow. Might be a little stunned off that one. He's landing at will. Which he has been known to do. Absolutely. Isang minuto bago matapos ang laban ay nasaktan si Gonzales sa body shot ni Pasqua at sa bayan ng kombinasyon sa ulo ay na-knockdown ang Meksikano. At dala ng pagod at pagkahilo ay hindi na nakabangon si Gonzales at dito'y idineklara na panalo ang ating kababayan via knockout. Hanggang dito na lang ang ating video kaibigan at kung nagustuhan nyo po ay pakipindot naman ng like at subscribe button. Nag-a-upload po tayo ng video isa o higit pa kada linggo. Maraming salamat.